If you're looking for coins to finish off FC24, I have the place for you. Head over to U7 Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use the code GTT at the end of checkout for 6% off every order. So EA have just given out the 85 times 10, but it isn't repeatable just yet. It does mean that it is going to be coming, and I can imagine in the next probably few days we might see it being repeatable uh, kind of more times but at the moment it is just 185 times 10 and 585 uh, 84 times 10s every single day if we go over to it it is still one team of the season or team of the week and then also an 86 rated team which is absolutely fine and you've obviously got it once a day for the next six days so i can imagine we might end up seeing it five times a day and then maybe the 84 times 10 10 times a day and then it should switch to the 85 times 10 unlimited but the grind is always on and in the first one we've got a team of the season i believe we're gonna get Lau and uh, Pop. We're going to get Pop to start with. Who's that? Is that a... Oh, no. Peugeot. Forgot about her. We're going to get that and a team of the season moment, which is absolutely perfect for them five times a day. And it is going to be our boy Kante. Not the one that I want, but we see the grind and that is exactly what we want to see. 94, 93, 93, 92 and 91. Four team of the seasons, which is brilliant for the grind. And it's why the 85 times 10 is going to be perfect. Now, when it comes to the ultimate grind of this, it's just so easy to grind everything, especially with the amount of players that we've got to finish and keep that collection alive. It is going to be very, very simple to get this grind done. Obviously, when it comes to the 84 times 10s, is not possible at the moment because we are experiencing issues. So let's try that again. So this is still going to be 84 rated team with a team of the season or team of the week. And obviously with what we've just got, for instance, with that, we're going to go and pick a 91 Otamende. I normally go for the, the, the lowest one. And we've got the two duplicates that we've got as well. And we sometimes just throw the gold in anyway. With obviously the gold commons, if you've been doing your 80, what is it, 89 exchange, you should have a decent amount if you're uh, kind of still grinding that out. And that should hopefully be an 84, well, it's an 85 rated team. At this point, you could potentially drop one of the golds if they're not duplicate. It's not going to hurt much. Obviously, you could drop it down to 84. I reckon, to be honest, with an 82 common, you could possibly drop the other and there you go. You've utilized your duplicates as well as a team of the season and just some gold commons, which is absolutely perfect. This is what the grinds all meant for. So obviously then we'll open them up one by one. To be honest, normally I only go one by one with these because you want to get rid of the duplicates. The last thing you want is just an endless supply of 84 times 10s. That's kind of good once you've obviously got the completely unlimited as you can go and do SBCs with the rest of them. So, obviously, just grinding these out. We're going to get a team of the season again, I believe. It's German striker. That's going to be Voler, I believe, on the cover. Voler with a team of the season at the back. And that is going to be our boy, Vitinha. So, a nice team of the season out of this one. We're going to also get a few duplicates. So, obviously, Vitinha we can keep and we can utilize him in a bigger SBC. That's going to be the best thing to do with anybody that's like 94 and above. If it's not a team of the season or... For instance, if you've got a lot of team of the season, since we've got the 85 times 10, then that's going to be a great way to grind out as much of the big SBCs as possible. Or just grind in the footies, team 1, team 2, team 3, and a team of the tournament pack, I believe it is. So you should be able to grind that pretty well. Again, if you are, I don't even know if Donnarumma was duplicate, but we're going to put the 84s in. As we've only got one really big rated out of this, we're just going to utilize them. I'm going to take the commons and I might just go down a couple instead. Try and go to maybe the, the 78s if we've got them there or maybe not. We'll just go to the 79s and see what we've got. 84, nice and easy. Um, in fact, I'm an idiot because I still need a team of the season. So sometimes you can go a little bit higher. If you really wanted to, you could obviously put silvers in and just keep your golds if you really want. But for this point, I'm not that fussed, to be fair, especially if we're only wasting a few commons. As we saw, a lot of them were duplicates anyway. And I've still got to determine, did Donnarumma become duplicate or not? I cannot remember. Good to uh, kind of remember what you've got. And we 
did well. So some of the 84s could have been saved, but at this point, it really isn't that much of a deal. So in the next one, we're going to get a Path to Glory, I believe it is. or it's, Oh no, to make your mark, it's going to be Hoysland or Hoyland Rasmus. Um, it's going to be his future star and a Path to Glory as well. So hopefully a good rating. This is going to be perfect for... Who on earth is that? Oh, okay, 92 rated. So you could utilize this in 84 times 10. I know he is going to be duplicate, but you could go ahead and put him into a different SBC and make it just a little bit easier to grind out. So what you do with the 84 times 10, rather than just kind of grinding these out consistently, um, you want to utilize as much duplicates as possible, but you have got the choices through a few upgrade packs. We've obviously got the 93 uh, greats of the game, foot is team one or two, player pick they're going to be icon specific or you then have the repeatable the 92 plus path to glory make your mark team of the tournament or team of the to uh, or foot is team one team two and team three now there is the catch for this is there is no hero and icons in this so potentially doing the icon one first is going to be worth it because you've only got two attempts of this for the next day they will come back and more than likely we will get a repeatable one at some point but this is repeatable after you finish them so you can just keep grinding these out repeatably um, in terms of other grinding there isn't anything else that that you haven't finished obviously there is a few here that you would have done or potentially would have done so they haven't come back as of yet then obviously we have got an endless list of players that we need to be grinding out we've only got a few days with some of them and you want to just get these done as quick as possible so obviously the next one i believe is going to be fakir he has got another two days to get him done but then as you can see you got two days four days five six eight once you get to the heroes you've got quite a few days to grind these out but they will stack up if you are looking to try and finish all of them the icons have got plenty of days left so you've got nothing to worry about there they are going to be personally for me something i grind once we get the repeatable 85 times 10 or repeatable 84 times 10 that could come first as well i can imagine next week if it's not going to be fully repeatable we more than likely will get say 85 times 10 three to five times and we'll get maybe the 84 times 10 10 times i could see that being a thing and also hopefully that batch goes up massively on team of the seasons which is going to be perfect so that's kind of your ways to grind that out to be able to to kind of get there i would just be utilizing the exchange to be honest that's going to be your best way so even if you're not ready to do any of the big sbcs yet and you get say like a 92 or 93 and you're thinking okay i don't particularly want to use anybody just yet just go ahead and put them in it's not going to be the worst thing in the world to just chuck them into a 51 player pack especially if you're not wanting to do any players just yet and you maybe want to do a few more 81 player picks just to be able to try and get that first team of the season also then we've got um hoyland as well in rasmus to go in and that is just going to be the grind that you can do you can discard some of the golds to be honest if they're 84 5 or 6 realistically at this point it isn't that big of a deal as much as no man left behind is a big thing at this point of the grind it really doesn't matter that much. Like, trust me, you will be absolutely fine. More than likely, you'll end up with an 84 out of one of these. There is a lot of the time that you do get specials. So if we're going to get a center forward, it's going to be uh, Jota's uh, birthday, I want to say. So I believe he's 90 rated, I want to say. 90 rated. So already, I could get an 80, uh, 89 pack back. So 51 players, which looks like it's going to be the case with this one. So, and we've got loads of duplicates there. So again, utilize the 51 pick to just get as many commons in as possible to do as many player picks. If you don't want to grind out uh, any of the other upgrades, that's going to be a great one to do as well. And sometimes you get some specials, sometimes you don't. I think I've had Czech and somebody else from this, from the footies. So you can actually get some of the footies in here as well. So it is isn't just uh, kind of doing the upgrades. The exchange is going to be a great way as well. And that can just fund all of your commons to be able to just have as many as possible. And like we say, it's not that much of a deal if you want to discard some. If you can't be bothered to go through all of them, then just discard them and start a fresh pack. We're going to get a gold in this one. More than likely, you end up with like an 84 at least in these. I don't think you normally drop behind them. At the very minimum, an 83 is normally what pops up anyway. So you 
you more than likely get a few decent specials from this. So grinding them out is going to be fantastic for you to do player picks. You can then grind them through and just keep grinding the game nice and easily. We get another 84 and a load of commons as well. 17 items being in. I need to do some player picks. But that is going to be the grind for right now. Let me know down below how you're getting on. Are you keeping a tally? Are you trying a collection? I was thinking about potentially doing like a a collection series to see how long it takes me to get everything but I might do that once everything fully comes out see how many packs it takes me on a brand new account to be able to get as many of these done would you like to see it but that is going to be the grind for today let me know down below how you get on and we are that much closer to an 85 times 10 unlimited grind